You guys, welcome to the Krypton After Talk Show. We're talking episode nine. Hope Seg is a father. Jane, Lida betrayed her mother. And Jax Ur gives us a little bit more insight, so don't go away. You're tuning into the destination for TV super fan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Oh my God. <laughs> They were right when they said this was like a, a part one finale. My God. You guys, things are, this is nuts. This is a can of just nut bags. Of Kandorian nuts. Kandorian nut nuts. <laughs> Crazy Kandorian nuts. That's what's happening. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> We're so ready to talk about this episode. Nine Hope. Uh, this was a crazy episode. Before we get started, I'm Steph Sabra, and to my left is Anthony Becerra, everybody. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. I'm not in my I'm not in my getup. Cause I just it was I was so bummed out. Yeah. I just couldn't don the cape. He had to leave the cape, like Edna Mode said. Yeah, it's like I was holding it earlier today. I'm just like, <laughs> no. And Candace can't be here, but we miss her. She'll be back for the finale for sure. Yeah. Uh, so this episode, it begins in Candor City. It's chaos. They don't know mm -hmm. what to do because Voice of Rao has disappeared. By the way, that's uh, chaos with a K. Exactly. <laughs> Second Lida um, get together, if you know what I'm saying. Hey uh, we get a awesome, crazy reveal that I think a lot of us were calling that Seg is the father of Drew Zod, Ooh, General Zod. Snap. So crazy. I um, told you. Oh, man. <laughs> Came down dirty with both of them. It's so crazy. Then we have Jax Ur um, interrogating Daron Vex. Um, That's she, right. Yeah, Daron. <laughs> he ends up escaping, and um, Lida kind of betrays her mom. So we'll be talking about all of that, and then we have some news and gossip, Kinda. and then we'll wrap it up with some predictions. But what before we get into it, what's your overall thoughts of this crazy episode? <sighs> okay, everybody. <laughs> it's hard to put into words my thoughts for this episode, but I'm going to try. Um, flabbergasted <laughs> is one that comes to mind. <laughs> um, me just going, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> also, Lida, what are you doing? Yeah? I still right. like that. I didn't have the luxury to watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Lida, girl, what's happening? Why? What? what? We'll get into it, but that's... I'm Speechless distraught on that. about Lida's behavior. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I don't. I thought. I, don't... <laughs> I thought I knew who she was, and I walked away from this episode not knowing who she is. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna break that down. I really wanna get into that because I'm at a loss for words. But yeah. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try and figure that out. What was going through her mind? So let's do this second Jaina versus Lida and Drew kind of face off that ends up happening because. Um, Drew, uh, General Zod really wants to get Doomsday and he somehow right. convinces Lyda to betray Seg and Jaina and right. do that. And that's where we, they get to the place where Doomsday is. And that's where we have the big reveal that he doesn't need Seg there and L there because he is the mix of both bloods. Yes. And that's where Jaina already is like, how could you already pick sides with Drew Zod? You barely even know him. Were you, that was the first, like, kind of misstep, I feel like. I knew that wasn't going to be a good pair up. When, um. When she agreed to go get Doomsday with him. Oh, I know. I think it, I think it does have to, it has to do with, like, um, the fact that he's her child, you know? Yeah. So it's definitely, like, he's, he's, for, for lack of better words, he's playing the mommy card. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. He's like, Mommy, back me up. I need reinforcements. Let's go get Doomsday. Come on, you're my mom. I mean, you haven't had me yet, you but you're my mama. Me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, mom. Like, chill. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's for the sake of a candor. Don't you wanna save candor, mom? <laughs> so crazy. And so um that's when Jaina first realizes I feel like something's a miss. Yeah. yeah. And fast forward to when they realize Doomsday's not there. Seg has already had alter plan, ulterior plans for that. Mm -hmm. And um, on that side, he's starting to, he's going to be released, we find out. 
So yeah. Doomsday is happening for sure. It's, he's not, it's literally not just like a ticking time bomb yeah. until Doomsday happens. So, so it's like not only like an actual like physical being Doomsday and also metaphorically countdown to Doomsday, which I thought is pretty cool. Yeah. Not going to lie. You're right. Right? He is. It's like it's, it's going to happen. Except we don't know what the time is. I know. <laughs> yeah. It could be weeks. It could be months. Oh, no, it could be days. Four hours. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, like, no. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I, I was almost scared it would have happened this episode because of how crazy things were. Oh, just... there's no way. That's definitely going to be. I, yeah, it has to finale, be. Finale, like finale reveal. Everyone's going to lose. I'm going to lose it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, doomsday, 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 <laughs> doomsday. I want to see him just destroy things. It's going to be fantastic. <gasps> um, on another side of people destroying things, uh, Lida has decided to destroy her newly found relationship with her mom in a matter of seconds oh right <laughs> because i was like dude what are you they, you're just gonna pivot 180 like, exactly jaina calls her out as she should have and right, then of course uh general zod drew zod makes it uh let's just call him zod 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 I, I, you guys are you it. okay <laughs> with that adam says zod no i said ivan's losing it in oh, the chat Ivan, he's like just yeah. call him zod no true he's really into the names i respect it <laughs> okay so there you go, zod Ivan. um right. challenges her to a kandorian battle so mm, that he could basically duel. duel he could be calling the shots mm -hmm. um i first i was actually really nervous Nervous that someone was for sure going to die, and it should have been. That's the way. God. Yeah, I mean that's the way. It, no, I would have. Oh. I mean, yeah. I know you were frustrated I don't know if about. You I don't know if you sh if it should have been Zod or not. I think it would have been really interesting if Jaina was the one to die. No, I'm saying it should have been Zod if uh, Lida actually let it play out like it's supposed to. Zod would have died. Yeah. You're right. Right. Oh, I get you now. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, you're Not right. Like I the way think... things were going, mm -hmm. yeah. He was being choked out. He was on the verge of, like, being, you know. But maybe Diana could have just, like, knocked his ass out and, like, you know. I agree. I feel like the whole, like, to death is so barbaric yeah, for that's such so, a technologically it's, advanced society. It's so, like, third episode. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> We've already seen this. We're over it. <laughs> but you were frustrated, I know, with Lida just watching this happen. Yeah, I was talking a little bit, uh, going off a little bit uh, before the show started, but... <laughs> All right, here he was pissed. Lida. <laughs> okay, this is what I, I had hoped to expect from Lida would be this scenario was like, all right, they're fighting and like, they're like, because like it cuts to her face and she's just like, kind of like that face. Like what? Like, so I was like, oh, okay, maybe she's going to stop the fight and be like, what's going on? He's like, what are you guys doing? Like, this is ridiculous. Like, come on. You're 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 my son. You're my mother. You're about to kill each other. What is wrong with you? No one Grow has to up. know we called the battle. Grow <laughs> the up. Duel. Swallow your pride. Screw your freaking glory and your honor <laughs> of Zod. Three words, whatever. It's just a it's just a word, you know. <laughs> Take that away from you. Take that away from them. What are they? You know, like I agree. Swallow your pride. You should. It's bunch that of children. Zod complex. Oh, that's good. <laughs> they yeah. just don't know what to do in situations anymore. She ends up shooting Jaina with that blaster gun. That's not yeah. just like a, a little pebble. Like, that's yeah. like you're gonna burn chunks of. It looked skin like off. it was like set to stun though, because it didn't like penetrate. It looked like it just kind of like 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 kind of like grazed, grazed her. her. But yeah. still, it's a firebomb. Oh basically. yeah, for sure. It's still very deadly. So while Lida is disappointment, talk yeah, talking to the person she picked over her mother, her son, uh, Jaina goes off, and we think she's being followed by someone, and it's the person we saw, saw last, last episode, episode in, the in the mountains. The, yeah, in the, in the yeah, outlands. in the big um, the coat. I don't know. Yeah, kind of like I, I, I couldn't put it together. I was like, oh sh yeah, it's Jaina. Well, I brother. thought that in the last episode, I was like, could it that be Jaina's brother? Because oh, they gave another flashback. That would have been so good. But I thought he was for sure. Like, I can't think of a logical reason why he's been preserved in the Arctic. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I got to say kudos to uh, the writers because cool. they, they definitely got me on that one. It was mm -hmm. like, I completely had forgotten about it. Like, because like, I know there's, there's some shows that are like, they drop it in like episodes ahead of when it's actually going to come up again. And, uh, like, yeah, it completely, like, went over me. I was like, oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I know. Oh, Jaina's brother. Oh, snap. I saw <laughs> like, the perfect. eye, and I was like, what? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, I was yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> because was... Jaina needed a friend then, too. Oh, yeah. For She's sure. hurting. She was, on, she was on the ground, <laughs> passed out. <laughs> With huge burns. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so scary. Um, I'm so glad she made <laughs> made it alive. Because I was worried. I was like, she better not bleed out after all oh, of this. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Ivan in the chat says Lida should have given Zod a spanking. <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Jaina was giving him the spanking, huh? Hell. <laughs> so Jaina for sure, I mean, it's clear that by how fast Jaina left the situation, she has to feel betrayed. You oh, know? for sure. Because she was daughter. just saying how the part that she used to criticize the most of, of Lida is what she has learned to love and respect the most, which is Lida questioning everything. Right. And then like, well, and soon and soon you're gonna have to make a you're gonna have to make a choice. And it came up, like, right away. She made a choice. Yeah, she made her choice. We're so disappointed in you, Lida. Uh, yeah. I think Lida, though, would need some good... Ad she needs a podcast. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> L Lida needs a podcast what? to learn how to be a better, a better girl oh, in society. Oh, you know what? I think you are right. And I think I have just the right podcast for her. I knew you did. I was like, why because are you Because I feel like Lida only wants to have fun and she even she wants to learn and grow in all areas of her life and swallow her pride and not be a zod because <laughs> uh for those up along with uh, lida and for those who do want to have fun learn and grow we have the podcast just for you and her <laughs> conversations with maria menunos podcast edition is hosted by our AfterBuzz tv founder and drops every friday on itunes every friday ladies and gentlemen conversations with maria menunos features celebrity and influencer interviews along with secrets and tips on how to better every aspect of life from health and wellness to career relationships finances and more let our maria be the big sister that you've never had just go to itunes and subscribe to conversations with maria menunos for free and then let her know that the krypton panel sent you yeah and along with that just comment and rate and uh give her you know give her those five stars anything less doesn't work apparently i don't i don't, I don't <laughs> know she's, she's got some good hackers that like they just don't work so just give her those stars so yeah be sure to check it out conversations with maria menuno's podcast edition every friday it's free it's awesome it's uh, food for thought every episode, you know. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, of course. J uh, Lida really, really needs it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's a um, troubled young woman. On the flip side, what I thought was really cool when they do kind of stick to some comic book sides of things, the Jax Ur and the Val, uh, Val L. Darren Vex, Daron Vex They're background wrong. was really similar, if not identical, to the comic book ba background where Jax was Val L.'s mentor before Darren Vex in the voice of Rouse sentence Val to death and that's what mm. inspired Jax to flee the guild system and form Black Zero. Right, you're right. So that's so I I, I just love that and I love Jax Ur's character. I think she's doing such a good job in that yeah. role and it was really cool to see um, the flashback of her and Val L because we knew that Daron, Daron and her had history but we mm -hmm. didn't know exactly what it is. Yeah, I thought I thought they were like together. They like they're they're like she's the mother of Nissa. I was gonna ask you that. I thought I, I I think so, but it hasn't been confirmed, and I don't know why it hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. Yet. That's why I'm like really confused. But also it's possible, and yeah, and I'm still also waiting hopefully for the review of Daron. Oh, I think it's coming next episode. Now that I think about it, because where we left Daron, like you know how I talk, I, I I speculated that um Daron, I, I can't stop saying it. I, I know. <laughs> anyway, he really screwed us over. He with did. That. He, Daron, <laughs> it's not French, but anyways. yeah. So Daron, uh, you know how I speculated that the uh, the Ice Queen, the of the Synthonites, uh, the Synthonite Queen might be possibly Daron's mother. But he said that his parents died. As far as he knows. Yeah, true. Which, you know, they, he didn't really know what happened to him. I, I don't think it was like I just think that he's, he's too weak to have anyone that's as cool as his parents. <laughs> 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 no, but like if because it would make sense because he crash landed. He like where we end where we like I know we're gonna touch on it more later, but like where we where he where we ended it with his story, he crash landed in the Outlands. Who's mm -hmm. gonna pick him up? The Sentinels, you know? Yeah. And then maybe that's when like mother. <laughs> well, before he does that, uh, this is where Jax Ur is basically, he, she is torturing Duran for yeah. information. 
and um, she ends up getting what she wants, but she does stick a like a, a zap, device a zap, in his yeah. neck that Electro really bug. got the truth out of him quick. It's like a low jack tracker, but was like <laughs> <laughs> that just shocks the crap out of you wherever you are, <laughs> even if you're like hundreds of miles away. Honestly, very useful. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> super smart very um it's not obtrusive <laughs> it's a secret uh, it's a little fashion doesn't icon. kill doesn't cut right. pretty nice pretty cool um and but Dar daron is a absolute survivor one thing he is good at is surviving so after the interrogation yeah he snaked his way into getting a way out yeah and that's where we cut to what you were mentioning of him in the skimmer. He steals a skimmer and then yeah. lands in the Arctic tundra. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a good thought. That the right? I mean, I, I don't know. I just feel like, like, why would we learn? I, I, I just feel like there's something, because, like, there, there, there's too much of a correlation there. Like, they used to worship... They usually worship the the uh, the I, I I'm, I'm just gonna call it the Ice Queen, pretty much, or mm -hmm. like the 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 the, the god of the Synthon Knights, yeah. you know. Her his parents were like huge uh, believers of that religion, and he said that they I believe he said that they just kind of like disappeared. Like when um when he didn't say that they died, he said that they went away when the Rao came, the voice of Rao came and like got rid of all the religions. So it's possible they would have gone into hiding. Something mm -hmm. happened to his father. Mm -hmm. The mother just stayed. And became queen of the synth knights you know yeah let us know what you guys yeah think. definitely yeah definitely like uh, this is just speculation but i yeah. would love to hear what you guys think in the chat <laughs> how's he gonna get picked up from the tundra <laughs> by the synthos. give us your best predictions Them synthos. so um part of the information if not all of the information jacks are wanted had to do with the guild's collections of clones right and apparently the elite of candor city uh, we're planning on living forever through this clone technology. They would clone themselves, which um, is really similar to the show on Netflix called Carbon Copies. It's such a Carbon. creepy idea that the rich altered carbon, altered carbon, yeah, <laughs> carbon copies. That's what it's they are, it's, so you, it's so creepy to think that this is this is a problem with money and science colliding. You could just yeah. do really creepy stuff like that. Clone yourself. Capitalism. Pretty much. That's so scary. Yeah, but like, uh, yeah. Also, like another factor uh, pertaining to the cloning and stuff. Like, is it just like? Well, we don't know yet. But like, is it possible? Like, are they like if they want the if they want the 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 guild the like the actual gilded um, bloodlines to keep on going? Yeah, like technically that will happen. But like. Are they going to be able to, like, upload their consciousness to these new clones? Because otherwise, these are, like, they're already, like, fully grown clones. Yeah, they look I think like, so. Right? So they're not going to be like, all right, yeah, I'm still the same person. Like, each clone, when when a clone is made, it doesn't have the same mindset. No, there's definitely a way to that they're cloning, like, I feel like. Right? Like, uh, unless they're able to, like, embed all their memories somehow into the already cloned people. Like, I don't you get know. Me? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, though? no, it's creepy. It's I don't not, not going to be, like, the same people, like that they, they were cloned mm -hmm. after. And a question to think about also, and you guys um, watching, is what Jax, or why that is so imperative for her, that like finding this clones. Like, what's she going to use it for? Mm -hmm. here's, here's my theory on that as well, is remember how I mentioned that it was actually Zod? Because in in the in the Superman mythos, there's a, there's there's a mention of cl clones, mm -hmm. and that was Zod cloned a bunch of himself, I believe. To try and take over, uh, uh, try to take over Candor or Krypton, and that's the reason he tries to lead the coup, and that's the reason why he's put into the uh, Phantom, Phantom Zone. Zone. Yeah, so I'm guessing they might try to like flip it and have Drew, uh, uh, Jax, uh, Jax, Jax, or uh, follow that line where she tries to make these clones become a part of her like lead, like uh, Black Zero. And then have them try, have her try to do like, like Star a Star Wars clones. Yeah, in a sense, but I don't know. We'll see because uh, there's no one to oppose her if she does that because like the Sagittaria are like all like disbanded yeah. a bit. Yeah. There's like they cut off the head of like, the, you know, the main state. So like it's it's slowly descending into chaos. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I mean, if anyone can bring like restore some sort of, you know, semblance of like rule, it, I'd see Jax or doing it. Yeah. Unless like. Well, I don't know. Like she's kind. She's an extremist. 
And that's not. I mean, it's better than no extremist. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm running, not sure. run, running rampant. Who do you want to be your leader of Krypton, people? Brainiac or Jax Orr? It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have to be like that. Uh, before we get into Brainiac and his development on this show, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to like this video and comment after. Um, let us know any questions you have, things you want us to bring up, or just any of the questions we've asked you. We love to hear your answers. And if you're listening on iTunes Podcast, make sure to rate us five stars and also leave a comment there as well. Um, so we have Brainiac, and this is the kind of like third plan to defeat Brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> the third failed plan to defeat Brainiac. And, Although, um, <laughs> I gotta add, it's a seg from the first plan that I hated. They've been getting better. Yeah. They've been getting better. I'll hand it to the I'll hand it to the good old Segal. He has a great attitude. He's definitely Miss Congeniality of this <laughs> yeah. series. Yeah, he definitely is he's okay with failure. He knows he how has, to handle failure. And he has a cool pep talk with uh grandfather. Val oh, Al. you're right. Yeah, yeah, peps him up. Um, and that's hence why we have the episode title Hope. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the L's represent in the galaxy, in the universe. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is when they can't find Brainiac's body after they thought they killed him last time. They know he's obviously missing. And Va uh, Seg's plan is to combine the Sagittari and, and the, Black Zero. Right. To fight together in order to kill Brainiac. And all of them have massive egos and are <laughs> already causing drama just a feet away from each other. And Saig Al gives a very good pep talk. I would definitely follow him into battle. Yeah. And they go there, <clears throat> and um, Brainiac, I don't know how he does it, gets them to turn against each other. Where um, I was not seeing that at all. Telekinesis? Uh, telepathy yeah. or. Um... Yeah, I mean, we, like, he has a range of powers that we mm -hmm. went over, and one of them is telekinesis, so it's, I'm pretty damn sure he was able to control that man's body with his mind, and, like, slowly have him turn, and then just be like... And then the rest just got fearful really quickly. It's funny, yeah, it's funny. All you had to do was just turn one guy, and then, the, and then it all fell apart. It was fantastic. I love that part. He's like, and I love how his, like, ob observation with them is like, huh, two, two enemies... Like who are like who are at their own necks have stopped and are fighting me now and yeah then, and then he's like okay and then when he turns them on themselves like oh what's the small like it's like small it's like dumb pretty much calling us like so dumb creatures like you can't see past no, the yeah. bigger threat and I'm just like it's yeah exactly pretty, what he says pretty much yeah <laughs> they are like humans or Kryptonian just fall for anything but I mean it's a human flaw as well where yeah. we're so quick to turn the table if you're not originally on the same team. Mm -hmm. And even if you are on the same team, I feel like they all started losing trust within to each other within seconds. Oh, yeah. Um, Segby it ends up being the only one to survive that. Yeah, he dipped into the uh, into the corridor. He's like, nope, <laughs> not going to deal with this. Uh, I'm just going to dive back here. We need like a meme of Seg. Just, like, he's like, oh, just he just stumbled back. He's, <laughs> I bet he's like, oh, no, I'm falling. Like, <laughs> I hear something over there. <laughs> uh, Lida, what? Lida? Hold on, guys. <laughs> They're just, just slotting themselves. <laughs> Good job, Seg. I would have done the same thing. True. I would have found a curtain somewhere. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do that don't stop <laughs> so um and he brainiac kind of says that seg is obviously more superior than a lot of them in Ooh. different ways mm -hmm. um by just his actions even then and uh he um, but then ends up almost killing seg and sending him into one of his creations and then this is when nissa who was supposed to be going to the Fortress of Solitude, right? Yeah, because yeah, he told her to run away yeah. and everything. Yeah, comes in and stabs Brainiac in the head. Right, that was saves fantastic. the day. Yeah, didn't expect that. Neither did I. But she's like such a war. She's such a warrior. Yeah, she comes um, out of nowhere. Yeah, she comes in clutch for sure. Like as in like she comes in at the right time when they mm -hmm. needed it. And I had forgotten. So I was like, oh, boy, what's going to happen? I was like, all right, what's going to happen now? <laughs> Something's going to save Seg, right? <laughs> I'm just like, ooh. Those and then crystals knows, are like, so <coughs> strong. Yeah. And I love how, like, you see, like, her, his back of his head yeah. just, like, turn blue and everything. Like, ah. Such cool scenes with And just, with like, Brainiac. dismantled. Yeah. Such cool scenes with him. And then she ends up going in for the kiss. How mm -hmm. do you feel about their chemistry? 
I'm starting to like it more and more. Like mm-hmm. I think I think I'm I'm more team uh team Saganissa. Well, right now Jaina's in the dog I mean Light is in the dog house. Light is yeah, she's in the Zod house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She is. Um, <laughs> um oh look, Black Magic says she says she's more like a spy than in a warrior. Ah, in a sense, but I mean, like, yeah, she's kind of like a ninja. But when you know, when spies strike, they strike hard and fast, and they like go unnoticed. So it's like whatever she is, she's doing good things. Yeah, I dig it. (laughs) Um, and then the episode wraps with Brainiac rebuilding himself, and this was probably like the coolest scene Mm -hmm. I feel like of the season. It was just like so well done, and he is so creepy. Yeah. Real quick, I want to point this out where Ivan Soto says it's rather symbolic. Nissa stabbed the voice of the voice with the L stone, which signifies hope. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peace nice. is like legit, like actual hope yeah. in her hand. It's like, eh. just through the dome. <laughs> Here's my hope. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was an awesome scene. And um, but what do you think about Brainiac? I've been waiting to see Brainiac in the oh, green. Oh man, the full green. That was righteous. That was so cool. So was, cool. Yeah, it's just full body armor. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> he kind dope. of reminded me of Piccolo. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right, Piccolo. Well, he was being like reconstructed again. It reminded me of like kind of like Terminator style, like yeah. you know, just coming back up. Like it was um, awesome. Terminator Two with the liquid guys, just like slowly forming himself again. So cool. Ugh. Yeah, and that was and that makes perfect sense. I was like, how do you get that armor? But I was like, oh, I guess like all the all the he just like melted all the wiring and everything, <laughs> that, like all the metal that was coming into him, just like boom. And now I feel like he's like ready to go. Like, yeah, no, he's like out for vengeance yeah. now. But he should be thankful because he looks a lot cooler. Oh, for sure, he looks so much cooler. <laughs> I'm and thankful it's just, for still the, the same actor, I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's Voice like perfect. Voice of Rao and Brainiac have it's always so, been the same. It's like, so Christian. rad. Yeah. So cool. Do you have anything else on just that episode? Mm, um. Yeah, how'd you feel about like Lida just straight one eighting Jaina like? Everything's like I feel like her character arc with like their arc, you know, Lyda and Jaina has been really progressing like pretty well. Granted, there was never anything like really set in stone. We're just like I love you, kind of <laughs> kind of deal, and like they hold it themselves or whatever. You know, there was that one like instance where she said, um, where she said that like I did it to save you and everything. So like like it's it's shown that. Like, Jaina does care about Lida. Yeah, and even this episode, she said it right before yeah, she made like, that decision. She was like, we can rule together. Like, we can we can do this. Like, come on. Like, just join me. And that's when Lida's like, <laughs> just stuffs, like, you, takes the pie, puts her right in her face. I'm so mad at her. Like, what? what I don't understand. Heck? I feel like. What the heck? <laughs> now we know you're pregnant, but still, it's not an excuse to do that to your mom. <laughs> Yeah, I, I for sure, like, without a doubt, know, like, she's pregnant, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and think. also, I know, like, well, I think, like, as viewers, um, we know that everything in history has still run its course as a way. Like, I don't think they've changed anything yet. Because, mm-hmm. like, if it would have changed anything, I think Zod would not have, it would have, like, just disappeared yeah. right away. But it's really interesting because Zod... I, I feel like he's so manipulative, and yeah. it's also now that we he was so nonchalant, he clearly knows that sex is dad, and he's part L, yet he absolutely despises L's. So mm-hmm. it's it's weird. Like, why do you despise L's so much? I know that... He's more of a Zod than an L. He... Sex son. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe him and Seg... Oh, I guess he said he, he didn't really know it. He was he was more raised from his uh, from his mother. And so. Jor El betrayed him in his head, right? Yeah. Still not. An Which was his half brother. Yeah. Who? I never know what his Who? next steps are going to be. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and also the Superman cape is almost gone. I know. I even just brought that up. Yeah, that was a really. I love when they bring the cape back in. So like, how? When are they gonna change things? Like, cause like it's. It, it's supposed to symbolize that like things have to happen so that Superman can be can be can exist, right? Like yeah, in, and it's like the time that they have before it closes. Right, it's like a little time yeah, uh, yeah. The hourglass. Yeah, exactly. So so they haven't done anything to stop it from like going away or from like coming back. I'm guessing that's what happened. Like that's like the the sign of victory was like when you see the full cape just oh it's back. 
Like Yeah, yeah, I hope. You know? And also like if, if they if, if Brainiac does come to take Candor, it will will the fortress still be there? Yeah, right? Since it's like away from Candor. I believe so. Because like I, I'm imagining this shot, like it's coming, like this vision's coming to me right now, guys, from Tell the ether. Me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this shot, right? Okay, I'm seeing Brainiac is gonna take Candor, mm -hmm. but our heroes are gonna be out of Candor, and I'm guessing it might end at the fortress or the Phantom Zone. <laughs> Or yeah, oh, because it's called the Phantom, <laughs> yeah. and that's only that's only accessible through the fortress. Okay, so it's gonna end at the fortress, right? Drew's Save gonna... this for the prediction. Ah, yes. <laughs> I need to You're write it down. So ahead of yourself. I know. I always do. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> let's go. I think that I'm wraps ready. up um, just the episode discussion, and we have some news and a little Ooh. bit of gossip. Yes. All right. After Buzz TV yeah. News. I love that intro. So we have two tweets from Sean Sipos. If you're not following him already, you should follow oh, yeah, him awesome. and Cameron Cuff because they live tweet every single episode. Yeah. And <laughs> it is so funny to see what they have to say and just their perspective. So the first tweet we have, because we wonder, Ooh. we still didn't see Adam Strange this episode and we're wondering where the heck he is. Um, and he tweets during this, Seg, don't worry, buddy, I'm still right. I'm still right. You can do this. Also, if you get this, I'm not dead. I'm just <laughs> in a strange, strange situation. situation. <laughs> so, yes, he's not dead. And I think we can guess that he is in the Phantom Zone. But, Ooh. yeah, let me know what you guys think. You think he's in the Phantom Zone? Interesting. Yeah, it was a strange place. <laughs> um, our second tweet from Sean Sipos, uh, calling all Krypton fans. And this is basically oh, his yeah, call to uh, make sure that if you guys are enjoying the show, to record it, watch it live, get it on iTunes. I have it on Amazon or Hulu. Um, and just keep letting people, keep tweeting, keep letting people know that you love Krypton because yeah. for some reason that hasn't been Renewed. confirmed yeah. that there's a second season and that would be a sh absolute shame if it didn't because I feel like we're seeing now what they have they yeah. like built us up to now and it's so worth it the first five episodes are kind of like we have these cards here mm -hmm. i know you <laughs> i know you want to look at them i know you want to see what i'm playing but not yet and now we're at like boom there's one card left to play by this point yeah and they have it in their sleeve it's up their sleeve there's one no actually here there's one card that we can see that they, they, they're gonna play, but then there's another card up there. There's like as a well. ton, I yeah. feel like, up there. It's, it's, if at season one, we already have Doomsday and Brainiac. Like, what? Like, this last, it can I only go up. This last episode is gonna be wild. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but and, yeah, I am I am so pumped. Mm -hmm. And on the topic of Sean Sipos, we do want to remind you of Ooh, Anthony's. That's right. We're giving away our hat for the next episode, everybody. So. We will be announcing the winner next episode for the finale. Exactly. Um, Remind the peeps. Yeah, and uh, so you still have a chance to be in the run it, run it, uh, running to get that hat. You do have to go to iTunes. Um, you can access it usually online as well. You don't have to have like the iTunes app installed. I believe you can go on iTunes through your uh, web browser and try to access it there. You might need a, uh, some sort of iTunes account, but you know, it's 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 all worth it because you get a hat from signed by Strange himself, Adam Sipos. And then we'll be giving that away. Um, so just uh, comments uh, when you do leave us a rating on iTunes. Comment where we can find you. Any social media tag, any or an email. That'd be great. It'd be the, the fastest way, the mm -hmm. easiest way. And uh, it could be yours. Ooh, check it out. Perfect. I know that hat is so cool, you guys. Um, yeah. I can't wait to announce who gets it. Have it in a nice little <laughs> special place. So it won't get damaged or anything. So, yeah. um, with that said, I think we can get into some predictions for the season finale. And now, here we go. After Buzz TV. So I want to, I want to, I want to get back to what I was spouting out earlier. Yeah, give it to I us. Because I might lose your it. Your last prediction of the season. Oh, you're. I mean, we can, we can still predict yeah, yeah, season okay. two, but, but yeah, like yeah. I feel, yeah, I feel, for yeah. season one. All right, so. All right, so what? <laughs> all right, so I'm just. This is just like what I'm picturing as what ends. So. Brainiac is going to take Candor. Mm -hmm. All right. Our heroes are not going to be in Candor. They're going to be good. They're going to be safe. They're probably going to be end up at the Fortress of Solitude. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, I think the last shot will be them looking at the cape, and the cape is like there. Like it's back. Ooh. And they're like, 
Yeah, although they're defeated, it's a win for the future. Mm. Like it's a def- it's a defeat in their present time, but it's a win overall. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And hopefully Kem comes back because you guys just did him wrong by <laughs> sending him away to... Was it? I, do you think Kem's there too? <laughs> Kryptonopolis. Apparently not. They send him away. Like what? Do you guys like, oh yeah, we just sent him away. Yeah, I'm confused. Not even a proper send off. Like later Kem, so catch it on the flip side. No, none of that. No, I don't like that. I didn't like that either. <laughs> I was a little annoyed. I forgot. I, I, I forgot to mention it. I know. Yeah. I, I like grazed past that, and I was like, because that's what, what they did to Kem. They grazed past him. <laughs> <laughs> grazed right over his ass. I'm just ca- following the trend of Kem. <laughs> So, Zai, for your predictions, those are good ones. The, oh, Anthony, the fortress is in Candor. Oh, no. <laughs> but then goes all that. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. whole prediction <laughs> is just null. Done, apparently. Nice. We'll see. Thanks I don't for calling know. him out. Um, I do see uh, Doomsday waking up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I think Doomsday is going to wake up. Mm-hmm. He's going to defeat Brainiac. Right. They're all going to be sent to or escape to the Phantom Zone. And Ooh, now Brainiac they have to plot. No, or... I think now they have to plot how to re get Doomsday for season two. Oh, that's what leads them to. Yeah. Okay. So how to like re- get him out? Other... How to like freeze him again or handle him? I think they'll right. escape okay. to the Phantom Zone. He'll still be in Krypton, which means he's still let loose. Who? Yeah. Doom- Doomsday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys, let us know your predictions. That's this is good. the season finale. <laughs> It's called the Phantom Zone. Yeah. And things are going to happen. So I would love to hear you guys' predictions because you guys always are pretty Yeah, hit us with it. Things. Hit us with it. Oh, mm-hmm. man. I cannot wait for the season finale. <laughs> There's so many things that are going down. So many little cogs in this machine mm-hmm. that is Krypton. It's just getting better and better, you guys. Every this time. finale is going to be crazy. I already know it. And then we'll see you next Sunday at 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. to talk about it. Phantom Zone, I'm Steph Sabra. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Steph Sabra and Anthony. <laughs> I just read this little, little quick what? thing. Ivan is like, Seg and Nissa are sent to present day Earth and meet their grandson Superman. LOL. <laughs> what, a, what a nice little dreamer Ivan Soto oh is. God. They're all gonna die. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh, uh, I've been your host, Anthony Becerra. You can find me everywhere at Tony B. Tony underscore. Again, Tony with the little B. Tony underscore and yeah hit me up I know Nessa, uh, Nella J you were trying to hit me up uh, on there as well so uh, try again I don't know what it was I'm on Twitter and on Instagram on there so yeah thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week stay super stay super whoop, whoop. you know it from executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro <laughs> Phil Svitek and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 